Today's video is my opinion of the top five strikers currently in the UFC, modern UFC, not all time, right now, active fighters, top five fighters. That, let's get right into it. There isn't a specific order, but in a way there is, but there's not an order. These are just five of the best strikers in the UFC right now. At five, I had two options. You can say one is an honorable mention, or I just simply didn't know which one to put in this slot. But I had to have a mention, an honorable mention to a fighter in the women's division, because no one's ever going to choose fighters in the women's divisions for best strikers. But Valentina Shevchenko is one of the best strikers in the UFC, period. Best MMA fighters, period. Fighters, period. We've seen finishes from her in all styles. We've seen head kicks from her. We've seen elbows, punches, knees, the variety of strikes. She's patient. She's accurate. One of the best strikers there is, period. Also at number five, starting from all the males division, I had Max Holloway at the fifth slot. Max Holloway, he's a volume striker, but that's his go-to game. He's quick. He's accurate. He has insane cardio. He mixes it up. And his boxing is really good. The performance against Justin Gaethje at UFC 300. Oh my god. It was absolutely insane. He was so defensively responsible. Not just the usual Max that we know brawling and getting hit and looking all battered. But putting it on his opponents as well. He was defensively responsible and absolutely destroyed Justin. And then finished him in the last second. Max Shevchenko. Max at five. Four. Four, we got Sugar Sean O'Malley. Sean O'Malley, just the angles he cuts, his footwork, the fact that unopposed to Shevchenko and Holloway, O'Malley, this is his go-to. You would mainly always see striking from O'Malley. You're not going to see him mixing up the game and then the other aspects of MMA that he mixes up makes his striking better. His striking is just that good that that's what he goes off of. His teeps, his long-range attacks, the cut angles, the counters. Sean O'Malley is simply one of the best strikers at MMA. And let's get right to the next one. At three, this might be a surprise. Probably the placement, but like I said, it's not necessarily an order. Or that he's on this list, period. To some people, to some others, of course not. But I put Tom Aspinall. People are not even able to survive being there with Tom Aspinall. It's not like he's, of course, he can. He has the grappling and the wrestling and the submissions and he's taking people down. He has taken people down for and submitted them. But it's on the feet as well. He's cracking people. He's putting people down. He's getting people out of there quick. He's extremely quick and technical. For a heavyweight he's not just in there looping punches hoping something finishes he said that he gets inspiration from israel adesanya for years it's a tactical cerebral fighter tom is deadly on the feet all around game that's why i got tom so high on the list and on the list period two and one these could be obvious to some people like i said not necessarily order but in respects to how things have been looking now, we can say it's in order. Two, I put Israel Adesanya. Honestly, this is the person that, when I started watching MMA, was my favorite fighter. Honestly. And it still is. I love Israel Adesanya. Absolutely love him. Such a fan. Even in defeat against DDP, even in any defeat, I'm happy I even get to see him compete. Israel Adesanya has always been and is widely regarded as one of the, if not best strikers in the UFC for years. Came over from kickboxing, being a champion over there, being at the absolutely top of the UFC, defending titles, all while predominantly on the feet with his striking, his counterability, his length, his traps that he sets, everything. Israel Adesanya is one of the most cerebral strikers kickboxers that there is period number one spot is Rod Asanya two Alex Pereira one Alex 
these strikers, it's not just always the flash and the the counters and I and the flat and the kicks and the swiftness. It's how effective you are. And Pereira is simple, fundamental, and putting people away. Devastating, crushing finishes. Jesus Christ. People don't realize that the Adesanya Pereira matchup rivalry that we got is those were such high level great kickboxing fights Alex taking that out of Izzy Izzy Alex's will always show up Pereira is so dangerous so technical so quick nothing is telegraphed nothing is overcommitted he is the most dangerous striker in the UFC right now. And he doesn't have that much of the other aspects of his game to then make the striking even better. If he had that, he would be the most dangerous person in the world right now. That was my top five. Shevchenko, Holloway, O'Malley, Aspinall, Adesanya, and Pereira. Top six, top five, honorable mention of Shevchenko. Hope you enjoyed. Have a great day.